think six of them would be a lot. There it goes. Oh, yeah, graceful. Aloha! We're still in Hawaii and it's beautiful! Ryan Higa, hit me up, brother. This is my Hawaiian shirt. I only got one from Walmart. But it's amazing here. I finally don't feel like a minority. No, seriously, people think I'm a local here. I'm glad you had a good time. Listen, we got coupons in the lobby. Just buy one, get one. Just he doesn't sure. work here. He's just kidding. And we've done a lot here, so make sure you check out our second channel, JP and Julia, swimming with dolphins. I did it! Eating spam at McDonald's, flying over a volcano with no doors or just walking into stuff. All of it's gonna be on there. And if you're not part of the junkies, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon because we're gonna be making Spam Misu B because you guys requested it. And if you have no clue what it is, you're about to find out. Oh, look at it. We walk in and boom, there's Spam right there. Spam. That's Spam light, it's lower calorie, 50% less fat. Oven roasted turkey Spam, taco Spam, bacon Spam. We should just get Hormel smoked ham. No. Misu B maker, look at that. And then of course, we do need the Spam slicer. The so Spamerator. I think they're going too far with this whole Spam thing now. So how do you do it? You take the Spam and you grill it on both sides, right? Uh, but not too much. And then you put it in between rice or on top of the rice? You can put it on top or in between, however you like it. Oh, you guys are making like a big one. Yeah. yeah. You guys are crazy. It's a Hawaiian thing. It's not a trend. It's just the lifestyle here. I'm, I don't know if this is very safe, what I'm doing right now, but I'm doing it. Did you poop yourself? Is that what you're trying to say? That's how you walk all the time. Fun fact about Spam Misubi, Spam became popular in war times during World War II. And now, you can literally get Spam Misubi anywhere in Hawaii. The soaking process is Pour it all in, cover it with two to three inches of water. We have to soak our rice for at least six to 24 hours. What am I gonna eat now? Do you want a macadamia nut cinnamon roll? Thank you. No problem. What we're gonna be doing is steaming our rice instead of boiling it. This is the first unhealthy junk food, guys. And as you can see, it's very easy to do. You just need a ton of safety equipment, more water, hot pad, stove, really awesome looking wooden spoon, and you need, of course, a Julia Gulia. And if you're like me and you burn rice, just get this. You don't gotta do this, thank God. Ready to serve only in Hawaii or Japan. Oh, this is it, this is what everyone loves here. It's like potted meat. This is multi-purpose. You could serve this to like your dog, right? This is beautiful. This is a work of art. We got this awesome spam cutter. Julia, can you read this for me? Meat slicer. Made in Japan. Huh, just like me. Now you take your spam cutter, you lift it open, you put this thing here, and you go bam! No, 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 yes. This way, Ooh. and then you push down. And it's that easy, guys. Look at that perfect cut spam. Oh, this stuff is so gorgeous. We're going to cook our spam in this sauce to give it some flavor. And a little bit of soy sauce. All the measurements will be on healthyjunkfood.com. This is how you do it. Whoa! Smells like America. Look at the color on that. Perfect medium rare. We're doing it. I'm like in Hawaii. I'm like chefing it up. I feel like a million bucks right now. What time is it? Spam time! The rice press, this is it. Pop this thing off, it's like pink. This thing's gorgeous, beautiful color. My rice is done, took one minute, and it's it's warm now. Ooh, this is sticky rice, and I'm just gonna compress it like that. This is your seasoning. This is what makes it taste authentic. And it smells amazing. Actually, it doesn't smell like anything. Is it supposed to smell like something? Yes. Then we grab our little Spam guy here, a little bit more of the seasoning. The rest of our rice is going in. Press it down. And then the last step, the seaweed. You know, this is what brings it all together. This is also what makes it kind of like sushi. Mm -hmm. Cut the landing strip. I would call it more like a belt. Can you have it form into like a V at the end? Guys, it's not the straightest line you've ever seen, but neither am I. Now I just gotta take this off. Wrap it over here. And dude, good thing this rice is sticky, cause my goodness, this would not work otherwise. Oh JP, look at that. I did it. That looks really good. This is a really affordable meal. Mm. This is freaking good. The only thing I would do different is put mac and cheese on it. Julia, you're gonna take some notes, man. If JP can do it and he didn't even read one recipe, then pretty much anybody can do it. We don't gotta always go that microwavable pouch type way. We can make it from scratch. Seasoned rice vinegar. 
right on the rice. For the mirin, we're only gonna want two tablespoons. Again, the seasoning is optional. Looks like there's some seaweed inside of the seasoning as well as some sesame seeds and maltodextrin and disodium succinate. Okay, there's some stuff. Preservatives, there's some preservatives in this. That's okay. Well, I think there's preservatives in the spam, to be honest with you, so I think... Uh... Oh yeah. Oh. Spam is a bee, baby. Did it. So not only can you get these things at a 7-Eleven or a fancy restaurant, you can also make them at home. The one this size, we're going to take two pieces of nori. And we're going to connect them together with just a little bit of water here. That is going to sit right down into our new misubi maker, which happens to be a loaf pan that you can find in your grocery store aisle. Now, the rice that you put in here too is going to help keep the seaweed together. Just going to do a solid layer. Now you can cut this giant misubi into small misubi. Take another loaf pan. We are going to use it to press down the rice. Going with that little seasoning action right there. Yeah, see that's got a nice grill on it right there. Looks good. We've done this before. Okay, we made sticky rice on this channel. Just like before, we're gonna close up our misubi. Now the moment that you've been waiting for, or at least I've been, I gotta eat this. This is so quick and easy to make. Pan siri or spam for a couple minutes aside and you're done. This is my new favorite snack. At least while I'm in Hawaii when it's really the only thing that you can grab to go. Dude, damn. Look at that cross section. You gotta make it count, guys. If you are considering going on like a low sodium diet, don't eat this. But other than that, I think this is beautiful. Now, let me cut this thing in half so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside. Oh yeah, that looks even cooler. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> it fell out. So, since we have all this nori and all this rice still, why don't we just end this video making some weird misubis? like with Vienna sausage. Eat one, it can't be that bad. I'm not eating it, I'm making this for you. It's like a hot dog. Snasages. This is getting weird. See, season everything. This is what Gordon Ramsay would do to the Vienna sausages, right? Okay. That's just like a, like a spam dick. Great JP, come here. I'm gonna finish this. <laughs>